Today is World AIDS Day. Now, of course, Charlie Sheen recently made headlines when he confirmed that he is HIV positive. And we spoke to two celebrity leaders in the fight against AIDS, Kathy Ireland and Ricky Lake, who weighed in on Charlie's announcement. My heart and our prayers go out to him um, for everybody who is dealing with this. It's, um, it, it's heartbreaking. I think it was incredibly brave of him. I just think it's good to, to any time we can raise awareness and for him to come out and, as he did and you know the fact that he told, said that he has been on treatment since the point of diagnosis. You know, he, it, he, he really, it's very hard to transmit the disease when you're on medication. They are three stars, all personally touched by this disease, all doing everything they can to help find a cure. Kathy's connection was through her mentor and business partner, Dame Elizabeth Taylor. She would go quietly with no media, with no press. She would go in to hospice and she would hug patients who had just not felt that human contact. And her legacy is love and life. But what many don't know is that Liz set up a secret underground network to get experimental HIV drugs to patients, just like the true story in Dallas Buyers Club. You mean to tell me that Elizabeth Taylor essentially set up a West Coast Buyers Club? Talk about fearless in at her home in Bel Air. It was a it was a safe house, and a lot of the work that she did it was illegal. But she was saving lives. She said her business associates pleaded with her, "Leave this thing alone." She received death threats. Friends hung up on her when she asked for help. But something that I love about Elizabeth is her courage. Is it true that she actually even sold her jewelry to fund this operation? Yes, she would. She would sell jewelry. She would, there, there was transfers of, of money. Sometimes there'd be like a paper bag and there'd be oh, money. <laughs> Today, Kathy, who Liz willed her two precious dogs to, continues Liz's fight. Was she scared that she would ever get caught? She thought she might, but she wasn't afraid. No. She'd go to jail for it. She wasn't, no. Uh, Elizabeth in fear, not in the same sentence. Um, fearless. Fearlessness, courage, and compassion for people in need. That's what this is really about. Ricky Lake took those words and made them her mission statement as she and four social media stars went to a school in Malawi to film Treatment for All, the first documentary launched on Facebook. Ugh, the ugly cry. Yeah, I do it many times. And these children that have nothing, they are orphaned by AIDS. All of their parents have died from this disease. They have nothing really but the clothes on their back and they have this opportunity to be educated and yet they are so filled with joy and hope. I, I really, really take a huge responsibility for being able to do some good and to help these people that are our neighbors. Yes, they're across the world, but they're, they're, they're just like us.